everybody it's bob boob the real estate guy okay this dorky guy here's bob boob the real estate guy hey i'm out here in the metropolis of rock town pa it's not spelled r-o-c-k it's spelled r-a-u-c-h with the if i was just saying the word r-a-u-c-h i would say row but we don't call it round town we call it rock town anyhow but this is rock town road over here so i'm actually facing east here here I'm facing south, here I'm facing west, and here I'm facing north. You get all that? But this is a pretty cool property, about an acre, acre and a third. All this here, where there looks like these are fruit trees here in the front of the house then, so that'd be on the east side. This is all part of the property. And it looks like there's a corner pin over there, so it probably kind of runs alongside that big pine tree there and then goes behind the two-car garage there. This is an estate, so you can see they've got the dumpster here cleaning out the house, getting ready to get it sold. Metal roof. You'll see it's a combination of brick and vinyl siding, but this is a pretty neat, pretty neat property. Let's see, as you can see here, an oversized two-car garage, workshop, I got propane. I don't know where my kids are at then, I haven't seen. Oh my goodness, guys. So here I've got, what's your name, sir? Jax, and what's your name, sir? Hayden. Hayden Boob, okay, oh my gosh. There are my, you guys gonna help me show this house? All right, so come on in here then. All right, so we got, uh, what do you call this room here? A sunroom. Why do they call it a sunroom? Because the sun. The sun. Da, 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 da. What, what if the daughter wants to come in here, though? Can a daughter come in here, too? Yeah. Or only sons allowed in here? <laughs> <laughs> Get a sunroom. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, open the door there, and we'll, I'll be right in. But, guys, you can see here, this is a big sunroom, Florida room. And again, just lots of natural lighting coming in here then. And these are all different doors you can open up to get a breeze. Oh, dear God, we'll see what these boys are up into here. So, I don't know. Wonder where they're at. Ta-da! Is this going to be a thing? Every room you're going to be hiding from me, guys? Yeah. All right, go off to the next room and I'll show the audience this room. So, guys, this is a huge living room. You're going to see here beautiful wood floors. Absolutely gorgeous wood floors in here modern furniture in here with the folding chairs um but big big picture window here again that's facing towards the the sunroom or the florida room there but this is you know nice size you can see the diffusers in the ceiling for the um central air must be central air heat pump in here then for the for the heating and then we come in here to the kitchen Big kitchen, lots of cabinets. I think I counted 83 different cabinets in here. Okay, maybe it's not that many, but it's a big, uh, ta-da. So, Jax, what's some of the neat things in the kitchen here you found? Um, so, what we found, we found some. Oh, you found the snack area? The snack yeah. area? Okay, that's good. So, people come look at, there's the snacks. Do you know what kind of stove that is? Um, Say gas. Gas. Say propane. Okay. Propane gas, there we go. And uh, got the kitchen island here then. Yeah. Lots of storage. Okay, and then, no, Hayden, you guys are going to give Pap a heart attack here then. Okay, so guys, here you can see we have a nice, like what I'm going to call like a breakfast or dining room area. Now, currently you can see it doubles as a um, kind of like a office area as well. Oh, there they go. So we can be surprised, scared again. <laughs> so, so this room here really has some versatility and you could use it as a dining room area, office. You could put a treadmill here. It could be a workout area. But again, you can see it's such a big kitchen and you've got lots of space here then, so that's that's really nice. Now, let's go see where they might be hiding for this one. So then we walk in here, and we have a huge, ta-da! Now, do you know what they call this room? A pantry. It's got lots of shelves, so you can put all kind of goodies in here then. And then here, now, this is the first of the bathrooms that we're gonna see. Ta-da! Hey, Jax, are you getting a shower? You can't be getting a shower and pop out on us then. But Jax, this is a big shower, isn't it? Yeah, look at this. Nice big shower. And look here, you can see out in the yard. And look, look, oh, look, there's a good looking guy taking a video. Oh, and that's me. There's three boobs in there. All right, guys. So, tell you what, let's take them back and show them the bedroom areas. Okay. So, financing, there's a lot of different financing. Oh, actually, guys, I'm going to show you here real quick, too. So, this is, give the boys a chance to hide from me. So, you've got the two car garage. Here's the driveway coming into the property. Remember, that's the west side here of the property. This is the north side. So here you have this huge carport area. Now, I was thinking, too, this could be easily enclosed if you wanted to make a, another den or a bedroom area or, or, or whatnot. I mean, there's just there's a lot of space here that potentially could be used. And, of course, then that takes you to the backyard, which we'll show you here in a minute. You've got doors all over the place then. 
Okay, so you better get going if you're gonna try to hide from us. I was starting to talk to you about financing programs. This house will qualify for every financing program that's out there. If there's anything to be done, it'll be very, very minor. Um, okay, so we have two bedrooms here on the first floor. And look at the beautiful wood floors here on this one here. This, I guess I'm going to probably call this the primary or the master bedroom because it's a big room, has the big double closets here, has lots of windows here. And uh, actually, see this little roof thing here? I go down in the basement. I'm going to refer to that again, but I want to point that out while we're in here. Okay, so then we come down the hall, little hall closet, and here's a bathroom. And this is another beautiful, uh, this has got a huge vanity. That must be a six footer. There's that good looking guy that's following me around the video tour. And it's another big shower unit here. Uh, lots of area here for um, the uh, linens. But I also want to point this out here. I think this is wide enough that you could also have a stackable, or I'm sorry, a side-by-side -side washer dryer here. So currently it's down in the basement, but it could be easily moved up here to the first floor then. All right, now let's go see where they're hiding. So here's bedroom number two. You can see it's got the beautiful wood floors too. And it's got the double closet. And it looks like, I was going to say, it looked like there were some pester var varmints in the house then. So this has got, the, look at those beautiful wood floors. Aren't they pretty, guys? Yeah. yeah. Now, it looks like here they were doing some paint and they took off the trim. So all the trim is right here. That can be easily put back up. It's got the double closets. So guys, you want to show them down in the dungeon? Yeah. All right, we'll be right back. Okay, so here's where we go down to the basement area. You see the steps here. But I wanted to show you here, if you look up, that's where the pull-down steps are. And that must be where the... Uh, the unit is for the central air and stuff then. All right, let me push pause so I don't fall walking down the steps. Okay, so there's a lot going on down here in the basement. Now, I think probably from previous owners, the thought was eventually they were gonna put a family room down here, which just didn't happen. Um, but you've got a huge 200 amp electric service here. Take a look inside. Yep, and you've got open breaker slots there at the bottom. Looks like things are marked pretty decent. Um, you have the propane gas, and that's where the propane gas comes in, right there. I'm wondering if the heat then might be a propane backup. I'm going to double check with my owner about that, so I'll give you some better information on the spec sheet. A little bit of a workshop area here, and then here's where they have the lower level laundry at now. Like I said, up in that first bathroom, you could possibly put a first floor laundry, but here currently is electric hot water heater. It's where the stack goes out for the septic system here's like a cold cellar they would call it you know it's really not cold in here but no storage for dry goods and canned goods that sort of thing now we have two rooms down here so here's one room so this is going to be on the will be the, the the west side of the house so this will be the west side over here that's going to be the north side it has a closet and everything in here so just counting these tiles real quick we're two four six eight ten twelve not quite 14 across by 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. About 12 by 14 room here. So it's actually a nice size kids room here. Put them down in the basement. Oh, I haven't seen the boys yet. So, hmm, let's see where they might be. Okay, so this could be bedroom number four. You can see it's got a bunch of cabinets in here and stuff right now. So it could be used as a... Well, uh, <laughs> you guys hiding in the cabinets, huh? Yeah. Uh, can I just include you guys with the sale then? No. No, you don't want to come with maybe a nice new family would buy this and include you guys in it. No, so what what happened here at one time, this used to be used as a bedroom, but then of course, um next owner added all the, the cabinets and stuff here. Actually, these might even be the old kitchen cabinets because that uh, kitchen upstairs we saw earlier was remodeled. So just depending on how you want to do it. And look, if you're a soccer fan, do you guys see the soccer balls in the oh. ceiling? So if you're a basketball fan, you have to get a different tile but the one thing i wanted to show you guys too and then we're going to go outside and show you around the outside a little bit see this door here this is an exterior door but this is what takes you outside to the back of the house then but look at that it's a nice remember i showed you that roof earlier yeah. so it's nice covered steps easy for bringing things in and out you guys want to show them the outside yard mm -hmm. all right hold on guys okay so now we're outside here i think i mentioned this earlier it's about one and a third acre big two-car garage that's got a metal over here's the outside unit for the central air. And again, I think it's either heat pump or <sighs> propane for the for the heat. And again, guys, I, my apologies. I'll 
get the correct information on that because there's a huge propane tank so i'm thinking it might be central air with propane for the heat but the propane might be a backup anyhow i'll get all that information for you you can see here the back of the house over there's that area where's the carport steps going up but it's a nice size yard area i'm gonna assume these bushes are probably real close to the boundary lines but obviously if you want to know for sure you'd have to have a survey done now unless omni sheds can talk i hear some giggling so act surprised with me here okay geez i wonder what could be in the shed here now anything that they left behind oh, ta -da. oh my gosh you guys are gonna give me a heart attack then but that's a nice size shed couldn't that be just a bedroom for a kid too we could just stick kid out here and yeah, yeah get some air conditioning if they're gonna gonna do that and let's see guys i think i think that's probably about about it i'm gonna walk you guys around the um shed here hey couple things to talk to you guys about there is a you know what there's a little shed here i'm not sure you know what that is very close to the boundary line so i gotta double check to make sure that's on even on our property that could be the neighbors but i'll find that out and put that online too but you can see really nice size yard if you have a house to sell in order to buy maybe you're curious what your home is worth you know just reach out to me i can help you with that or any of my super cool awesome agents at century 21 first choice realty can and again with those financing programs i was talking about maybe you're just wanting to get the best rate get a hold of me and i can give you a list of a couple of good lenders that are known to have some of the best rates in the area then hey guys you want to say goodbye to the audience all right say say bye guys Hey, you guys did a nice job. Did they know, do a jo good job with the video tour? Hayden, where are you hiding at? Hayden's around the corner. Oh, he's hiding around the corner. Okay, well, we'll say goodbye to him. Say bye. 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 Thank you, guys. Have a great day. Thanks for watching the video tour. Hey, guys, sorry. I forgot to show you the inside of the garage here then. I know this is at the tail end, but, but you can see. So you got one car garage there. You got then all this workshop space. Got a furnace here. So that's really nice. You got heat for in the winter. What are you two up to? Just calling people. Calling people? Oh, that's like a regular phone. And then, of course, here's your second garage door. And, of course, you can see this lots of shelving in here and space for equipment. And then there's another door that leads us out. So that's what the, yeah, that's the west. This is the south side. And uh, there's some gasoline. Stay away from that. Or don't, gar don't gargle with that. Um, but it's a nice garage, isn't it, guys? This is a really good garage. Then. So that's the inside of the garage. Just wanted to show you that.